Hello guys and welcome to the first video of my Unity UI optimization series. In the next 5 minutes we're going to learn the easiest and fastest way to both optimize the performance of your games and also decrease the size of your mobile builds. With this technique alone I was able to increase the performance of my upcoming game by a lot and also if you stick till the end you can see how with one click you can decrease the size of your mobile builds so make sure you stay tuned. On this channel, I'm always uploading videos to help you grow your skills as a game developer. So if you don't want to miss any of them, make sure you subscribe to the channel below. All right, so jumping into Unity, I have a basic scene setup where I have a background and a single panel with a scrollable list of heroes to choose from. One key concept to understand for this tutorial is what a draw call is. Simply put, each draw call is a pass Unity makes to draw your UI. We are trying to optimize the performance of our game. The less draw calls we have, the better our game is going to perform. And trust me, they stack up really quickly. Now that we know what draw calls are, we need to figure out how many we have in our scene. To know that, we can just open the stats panel right here in our game view, and under batches, we can easily see that number. If, for example, we only leave our background on, we can see we only have one draw call because it just draws the background in one pass. But if we turn on the canvas, you can see it jumps to 46. Now, you may be wondering, if the background is only one draw call, how come the panel has 45? To try to understand the answer to this question, we have to turn to the Frame Debugger. So go to Windows, Analysis, Frame Debugger. You can enable it. And here under Canvas Render Overlays, we can step through all of the draw calls our, our game makes to draw that canvas. So first it puts the background, then it puts that overlay, then the text, the icon, the other overlay, the X, and then we start seeing the icons somewhere down here. One icon at a time until we have all of the icons for our panel. Now, let's stop for a second and try to understand when two things can be drawn together and when they can. For two things to be drawn in the same draw call, they need to be, first of all, on the same canvas. They have to share the same material. They have to share the same sprite asset and they have to be clipped by the same mask. Now that we know that, we can already start to guess what's going on here. All of our images are in the same canvas, most of them use the same material, but none of them are in the same sprite asset. The easiest way to solve this is using Unity's Sprite Atlas feature. So to do that, we're going to go back to Unity, create a new folder called Sprite Atlas. We're going to right click and just select new Sprite Atlas. We're going to call this icons. And here we can do two things. We can just drag and drop each of the icons, be packed. We can do it like this. Or the easiest way is delete this. The easiest way is to just assign the whole folder. We can just go like this. Just pack preview. We can see that we have one sprite where we have all of our icons. Now, one thing that you probably need to do is to disable allow rotation and tight packing because you may run into some issues of sprites being actually rotated or bleeding into some other sprites if you don't do that. Just pack preview again. In this case, it doesn't make a difference because all of our sprites are squares, but just keep that in mind. Now, we're actually going to do the exact same thing. So we can just copy this, duplicate it and put UI and do the same thing with our UI. So we're going to pack all of this into the same sprite sheet. Let's just remove play. See how this looks now. Let's go to the frame debugger again. And now we have one draw call for all of this. Another draw call for the text. Now we have another, these empty draw calls that are actually the, the sprite mask that are, are making our scroll list work. Then we have one for all of the icons. And then we have the last one here. So now we, we went down from 46 to 8. That's pretty amazing. Now, if you really want to dig deeper into your draw calls, you can go to Window, Analysis, and open up the Profiler. I know this is always scary, but bear with me. The first thing we're going to do is just remove all of the modules that we're not going to use. So we just want to leave on UI and UI Details. And now we can actually see when we press play. So now if we open the canvas, we can see each of the draw calls. 
which game objects are drawn in this batch and why each of the draw calls is breaking from the previous one. So if we step through here, the first one, we can see the background with the icons and everything patched together. Then the next draw call is for the text. And this uses a different texture and that's correct because that's the text font. There's nothing we can do about that. Then the next two are for the scroll view. Like I mentioned, there's nothing we can do here. This one uses a different texture from the font and the viewport uses a different material instance to be able to do the clipping. There's nothing we can do there. Then we can see here all of the icons being batched together and this has a different material instance from the previous one and the same with the with the last one so this last three or four actually there's nothing we can do that's the, the scroll view so we can have this effect one last tip to really optimize your game is to go back to the sprite atlases select them make sure you use crunch compression you can leave normal quality and put this to compression quality 100 and you can see we can go from 256k down to 80 and do the same with the UI. And we're not going to lose any quality of on, on our images that's really noticeable. You can actually test this out in your target device. So if you're going to target mobile, just make sure you change this and test it out in a few devices to make sure it still looks good. But with this tip alone of using sprite atlases, using crunch compression, we were able to decrease the size of our builds our latest game from around 85 megabytes to down to 60. That's about a 30% decrease. That's crazy. Another advantage of doing this with the sprite atlases is that for this crunch compression to work, you need the images to be power of two. So by doing it in a sprite atlas, you make sure that all of them are power of two because the sprite atlas is always going to be a power of two. So it just works out of the box. Okay guys, so this concludes our first video. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to be doing a series of videos like this one, really short tutorials where I'll go over different optimization tips for your mobile game. So if you're interested in content like this, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Also, I want to know from you guys, what's the biggest performance issue that you had in your games? If you can, leave me a comment below with it and I'll try to help you out. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.